We moved the house from Hoboken uh, to Washington, D.C. in a very short amount of time. It was an extraordinary effort on the part of the team to finish the house, to get it transported here safely, and then uh, built up again in just a matter of days. It's been very busy. Uh, it took us about a week and a half to take the house apart. And we're putting it back together, and uh, it's been a lot of like uh, ups and downs, but in the end, it looks like we're in really good shape. We are in Washington, D.C., and we have here the product of two institutions, three schools, and a local affiliate of uh, Habitat for Humanity who's a partner with us on this project. We really set out two years ago to make next generation's technologies readily available to this generation's needs. And this is a next generation house being handed off to Habitat for Humanity for today's problems. And I think that's what we're by far most excited about. It feels awesome to finally be here to see the house built and showing people that sustainable, affordable, and beautiful housing is available today. We've been working so hard over the summer, very concentrated, huge effort to get the house built. While we're here, uh, setting up for the competition, meeting all the teams, learning how to maintain the house for all the competition juries was high pressure, very exciting moment for all the students. Our house was actually consuming less energy than the other houses on the mall. We were also producing less energy, but we were able to consume less energy and complete all the tasks that the DOE wanted us to complete. If I were to pick one outstanding moment, it's the moment in which you have the opportunity to open the house to the public. And they came in and the students did a fabulous job of presenting not only what the house is, but actually how it's going to transform uh, the way in which we do housing in this country. I think people have taken great interest in this project because it's different than all the other entries. And it's different because this is a real house for a real family. And I think what we've done here is bring in a whole social element that has, I think, frankly, never existed in this competition. The fact that this house will be moved and lived in, that is something that's going to be remembered for as long as the house lives. We've won by passing this house on to a neighborhood, to a family, to a community. Today, the kids came into the house for the first time. Watching them absorb their new home has just been its just been fantastic. I got involved in this project through Habitat for Humanity. Well, I was the first time home buyer, and I was just like, wow, like this is going to be my house. It's a nice size house for me and my family to grow in. And not only is it just a home, it's different. It's a passive house, and I'm still learning how everything works. When we come to looking at something like this, the students, the faculty, the staff of these institutions have made an unbelievable difference. The fact that we're able to partner means that we're able to not only see the stars, we're able to reach for the stars. It's a huge accomplishment for the students. They work really hard for two very long years. And to see the kind of publicity and public coverage for this event, I think it makes the students feel really good. The reason that we came to the Solar Decathlon was to be able to show people that this is possible. I think having achieved the affordability contest was really a good mark to show the competition where we stood. Carson Stevens! It was a spectacular win. To have that be the first competition, to win that, and win it by a long margin was what we set out to do and we achieved. I've learned a lot through this, through this project and worked with some really great people and I feel like this has given me the opportunity to actually put into practice some of the things I've been learning over the last few years of school and several years of my life. I would do the Solar Decathlon again in a heartbeat. It's been the best educational experience of my life, best, best practical experience. Today, the children who are living in the house came by and it really came full circle. Aside from all the math I did, from all the planning, the late nights I did, the, it, like it all just came together. It was just completely, utterly like heartwarming. There were many challenging moments, many frustrating moments, but I mean, it's the way things work. And, that kind of challenge and just learning the simple things that we take for granted every day was uh, something I would do for the rest of my life. It was hands down the greatest experience I've ever had in four years of school. The most memorable part of the whole experience is meeting everyone that had anything to do with the house, especially the students. I would just want to say thank you all for everything and I don't think I can say thank you enough. <laughs>